this is Yael from Yael Alchemy, and I'm here with a weekly message of the Divine Masculine for his beloved for the week of August 14th through the 20th. Okay, so I've already shuffled the cards and prayed over them, and at the bottom of the deck we have um, these cards. This week, okay, this week is the pre-solar eclipse week, okay, because we have a solar eclipse on the 21st of August, and that's going to be visible in the Western Hemisphere in the United States and the neighboring countries there, and um, this is a big one, okay, so for more information for that, on that, um, do check out the weekly Twin Flame reading, I talk about it in um, a lot there. Anyway, so the general energies of this message, first we have the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords, here we find this man. He's, um, he's a convict, actually, which means he was previously behind bars. And now he has Seven Swords there and a lion coming out, a lion, a dragon coming out of his neck, which signifies another part of him okay, that wishes that he could get out of the situation that he's trapped in. So this is leaving a situation behind and even rebelling against it. Because there is a hankering for this new beginning, which is represented by this Ace of Wands, in order to complete himself. So, okay, these are the general energies of the Divine Masculine, because he's in possession now of this truth. His authentic self, the truth of his soul. And he's carrying a baby here, pretty much like my dream uh, last week, the one I told you about last week. He's carrying a baby here, which represents also the third energy. And here he is co-creating his new reality, uh, hard at work, creating. This is a very creative venture. There's a painter here creating something in the physical with the Empress, which is the Divine Feminine. In order to create the third energy represented by the third coin, we have the Three of Coins here. And the Lover's Card. Okay, so that would be where the Divine Masculine is at, at present. Now, let's, for his message, uh, let's check out the cards. First card we have here is the King of Cups. And this King of Cups, he's, he's the epitome of the spiritually awakened man. So, I know it's been a long time we were talking about twins awakening in waves and it seems that this is the culmination of this first wave wherein the divine masculines, uh, at least belonging to that wave, have been spiritually awakened. Now, I mention that because a lot of you are disheartened about your divine masculines um, sort of not yet following the tide. But the thing is, all the, this awakening, it comes in phases. Um, just like this whole new anchoring of 5D in Gaia has started as early as 2012 and even before that. It comes in phases, except that now, because this is the time wherein the energies are more intense. And so... Here, this would pertain to the Divine Masculines who are awakened, the spiritually awakened ones. And here, he has the sense already of unconditional love. And you can see the sun here. It's, um, it's glowing brightly. It's like, um, it's like an effervescent energy that... infuses his emotions because this king although he has a depth of emotion inside of him now he has he has mastered it he has 
mastered and he can distinguish now what is unconditional love versus the other kinds of love okay and the next card that we have here is the ten of swords and the divine masculine is saying that this is what he had to go through prior to his spiritual awakening which is um, which is not a stranger to a lot of divine feminines because we've had to go through this many times over in the course of our awakening and the divine masculine is saying that he's been through the same and this has been very hurtful for him you can see this man he's down on the ground and all these swords are stabbing him from behind a lot has had to give his ego his pride um, the stereotypes his attachments what other people think about him especially if he's the divine masculine that has been in a karmic relationship and has had a family or a wife all these things he's had it's like he's had to die in order to be born again but he's just telling his beloved that he's been through all this pain and you can see here the vultures they're just watching over his body just waiting for their turn to pick the meat off his bones but in the background you can see this wisp the mist this pink mist which is unconditional love and that has arisen out of all this sacrifice this almost self-sacrifice by the divine masculines in order to achieve to come to this period in his evolution and ascension and the third card we have here is the temperance card and the temperance card is here we have this woman and we see the fire because this is fire this is like lava molten fire coming from the sun dripping down into a cup of ice and I did mention the song of fire and ice in my twin flame weekly reading but this is more apt okay because this is a merging of himself he's finding balance in himself that's what uh, he's been through in order to get here okay because here fire is a very masculine trait but remember now because he's in touch he has tapped the divine feminine aspect inside of him now it merges with ice and that's what he's currently doing he's merging that well it's either he's currently doing that or he has gone through that okay but that's what he's telling his beloved right now and the last uh, the next card here we have the Queen of Coins now I'm getting two things here with the Queen of Coins on the one hand this um, what I'm getting more strongly is that this represents the Divine Feminine okay and he's telling her because here he's saying what he has been going through and that he knows that the Divine Feminine has been you know go 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 she's been uh, working tirelessly almost frantically to get everything ready and you can see here that sometimes she, here she's even forgotten to remove the rabbit ears out of the pie but here there's utensils there's the pie here she has she's like a domesticated diva doing everything at once you know when you're in charge of the kitchen and you are preparing a feast everything if you're not prepping then you're simmering you're cooking something is baking in the oven everything is happening all at once it's like multitasking at its finest because you know at some point in time you know that this is going to be ready so you're prepping for it because later on when the stove is clear and then you need something your the stove is clear and you can already cook the dish that you've prepped then that's when you put it on the oven but 
you know, so that you don't get caught unawares and your time is used uh, efficiently. Everything is prepared. Everything is um, either in the oven, in on the stove, um, or even in the sink to wash it so that you can use it for your next dish. So here, he knows that his Divine Feminine has been preparing almost frantically for him, his being ready, okay? And he's just acknowledging that. And the other thing that I was getting also is that for some Divine Masculines, this is, this is him, okay? This is where he's at. Because here, in the process of balancing, in the process of balancing after that epiphany, okay, that awakening, of course, you don't see things the same way as they were before. And everything has to be overhauled, okay? Your life in order for, and that's also what this solar eclipse, the coming solar eclipse on the 21st is uh, bringing. That's the energies of the solar eclipse. That, you know, your life will be shifted in a way wherein you will be living it more aligned with your soul truth and your soul purpose. And that's what he's doing. And he's doing it frantically because, you know, he's coming in rather late in the game as compared to the his beloved that has been awakened for some time. Okay? And the last card that we have is the Nine of Coins. And here we have this woman. And she's surrounded by bunches of grapes. Grapes that are ripe for the picking and an owl there for wisdom. The grapes symbolize abundance and the owl symbolizes wisdom. In other decks, you have an eagle, um, or, I don't know, I can just remember an eagle. Oh, I think there's one deck that there's, it's a peacock, okay? But here, her choice of companion is this owl, which symbolizes wisdom. So, here, for the divine masculine, who has already, um, here, left ties or is in the process of leaving his karmic partner okay then this is a period of separation of being alone in his wisdom and this would be um represent abundance okay so he's by himself he's working he's getting things ready for his next phase and uh, that next phase, the choices that he's going to make this week and the week of the uh, eclipse or in this period of time, okay? Because I don't want to box it uh, in a certain period of time because that's not the way energy really works. Um, because although there is, um, let's say, this energy, remember the matter that the energy will infuse is in different states, okay? So it depends on um, the progress and the ascension of your Divine Masculine, how he's led his life up to this point. But what this is saying is that um, he is... What's the word? Tapping into his wisdom in order To make the most of his, how do you say it, solitude, okay? Because he's working towards that. That's for some Divine Masculines, for the other Divine Masculines. So that's here, that's why he's frantically working. And, and it's like he's saying that um, this is going to go faster if I get on it alone. You know, there are not too many cooks in the kitchen. So, there, he's working on that. And when he say that, it's because, you know, if you are trying to get out of a situation, and 
you go about it like a democracy where you have to listen to all the stakeholders, what they're saying it is, instead of going with this inner guidance. And his inner compass is telling him what to do and where to go and who to be with in order to complete himself. See here, the world card. Well, if there are too many stakeholders that he has to... That's going to be a never-ending story because everybody has interests involved. And the, everyone's interest that they put forward would not necessarily mean that it would be for the highest good for the Divine Masculine. That's why he is um, heeding his own counsel right now. And it's an enlightened counsel because he has tapped in to his higher self already. Okay, now let's pick some clarifying cards for these very quickly. Oops, sorry. Oops, wait. Okay. Okay, for, oops, sorry. For the King of Cups. See here? This is, this is, this card, this is a fatality. It's time, okay? So it's time for this, for the Divine Masculines to be spiritually awakened. For the Ten of Swords. See here. Look. If you think you've, you've been having a hard time. And considering that you're already enlightened as to this journey. And uh, the difficulty is in waiting. He's been shell-shocked. Okay, the Divine Masculine has been shell-shocked at all this. But it was time for it to happen. So all these things, it's like, imagine thinking your world was this for a very long time, feeling comfortable in it. And then somebody telling you or realizing that it was all a lie, an illusion, and that there was actually something better. So it's this. Because, you know, even if uh, that truth is before you, it doesn't mean that it's not hurtful. Even, you get what I'm saying? So there, and for the temperance card... Okay, so this is um, renown, acknowledgement. You can see here the trumpet. Uh, usually trumpets, they're used before to herald the coming of somebody. And here we have the laurel to honor and the flag that's raised high. So here, what the Divine Masculine is saying is this balance. Finding his inner balance and his... The integration of his yin and his yang, the divine feminine inside of him, the aspect of that with the divine masculine, he's making it a priority. Okay? Because this has knocked him off kilter. And he knows why, which is a good thing. He already knows why. But he still needs to find some balance from within. And for the Queen of Coins, see, this is, uh, this is Nativity. This is the birth. So, with this card, this says, this pertains to the Divine Masculine. Okay? Arranging things, making things, um, laying them out in his new direction in life. Because this is also a map, okay? And it's a new map. So this is the Divine Masculine taking a detour of what everybody thought was his direction, okay? And when I say everybody, that's everybody around him in 3D. 
because you know when it comes to a trajectory of certain action um, in 3D of course you base it on okay so they're a couple they're gonna be together forever he's like this like based on stereotypes because of um, 3D institutions so there but those are the things that we are trying to shift the paradigm of that you are together because of love and not out of obligation okay so working frantically for this new direction and for the nine of coins okay see here the, because this is enterprise this is working on things and like I said earlier he'd rather go at it alone it's going to go faster you know how when um, a lot of hands want to help but you're pressed for time you want to finish it faster and it'll go faster if you do it alone because you know what you're doing so th this is it that's why the divine masculine is going at it alone because the other people who want to lend a hand, they're not necessarily as awakened or, you know, as guided as the Divine Masculine now. And we're talking about twin flames. So there is a, a sea of wisdom that is being given him at this time so that he can navigate what he's going through in order to here look at this in order to build the third energy and to come to union with his beloved okay so there very nice reassuring message by our divine masculines okay but really my heart goes out to them they did have a hard time just like a lot of divine feminines did Okay, so that's what I have for you this week. And remember, if you do need, or your Divine Masculine still hasn't gotten here, needs clearing, okay, in order to help him get here, or to help him um, come into balance, do check out the Rashiba Healing Sessions. It's what I'm recommending this week until the solar eclipse. Okay, so take care everyone. Bye.